Parish Client V6 is still good in 2025, and today I'm showing you exactly how to get it. So to get it, you want to head over to their official website. This is going to be linked down in the description below. Together, actually, with my Discord server, where you can find many more clients just like this one, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, to download it, simply click on this Download Now button, and you'll be brought right over to their latest release on their GitHub page. Here we can scroll down and download ParishClient.jar. So to use this client, you do need Forge installed for Minecraft 1.8.9. If you don't have that yet, or you're not sure where to get it, then um, I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, here as you can see in my downloads, I have got Parish Client and we can simply press on the windows and R keys at the same time. Then in this run box, we want to type in app data, just like so, and then hit enter or click on OK, and this area should open up. Here you want to go into the folder called roaming, not Minecraft. Then you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. There's going to be any mods you already have there. Anyways, we can simply drag in Parish Client, and once we've done that, we can close up both of these open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch Forge for 1.8.9. Alright, and here we have Parish Client. So, just for an example, I'm going to head into a single player world right now, and show you a little bit what this client is about. So, I believe it's mainly made for uh, bypassing Watchdog, if you know that anti-cheat. Anyways, uh, to open up the Click GUI, you can simply press on the right shift button on your keyboard. As you can see, this is not going to at all look like a skid of another client. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, anyways, here in the Click UI, it's uh, pretty simple to use, to be honest. Look at that, all these utilities, click on them to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off. You've got some notifications right down there, a puppet over here. you got the Parish Client watermark, which is totally not a giveaway. Um, anyways, some of these utilities are going to give you a description when you hover over them. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, for the rest, as you can see, there is a whole bunch of utilities here. As you can see, you can scroll a little, so that's nice. You can, of course, reorganize this however you want. Perfect. Anyways, uh, yeah, for the rest, definitely re recommend checking out this client. Still pretty good. Pretty sure if you got a good config, it can still bypass as well, so that's nice. Um, it has a scripts manager as well. It's incredibly customizable. Um, so here in the profiles, you can of course create profiles or configs. Um, for the rest, it's pretty easy to use, not really too much hidden features. Uh, yeah, so for the rest of the client, I highly recommend you take a look at this client section specifically. Um, this contains a lot of customization, including the Discord rich presence. In the GUI area over here, you can manage the entire GUI. Um, and for the, like, you know, customize it as well, stuff like that. N manage notifications over here, and then in this settings area, you can manage general client settings. Um, in and oh, actually, in this GUI area over here, you can change the bind for the click GUI. As I said, it's currently right shift, but you can change that to anything right there if you want. For the rest, for the client theme, um, as you can see. It has been enabled by default, and in this thing's customization menu, you can customize that entirely. Also, I don't think I said it, but you open up these customization menus by right-clicking on the utilities. Oh, that should be pretty obvious, I guess. Anyways, for the rest, this client also supports custom commands, so we can type dot .help in the chat, and that's going to give us a list of the available commands, so that's pretty nice. Um... Commands are mainly used to manage stuff like your keybinds as well as your profiles. And uh, yeah, for the rest, that is basically that for right now. If you like this client, then make sure to subscribe and stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.